Well, it's a beautiful day today, unlike my last unboxing. I know what you're thinking. Why do I have a Macintosh Performa box from the 90s here? I'm not quite sure. It's a shame that they use this box because this box is probably worth something to some Apple collector out there. Um, why I'm not an Apple collector, though I do like my vintage Macs. I actually had one of these at a point that was given to me and I gave it away or left it at a school or something. Uh, so, uh, the performers were not well known for being the most quality Macs, but uh, it's really a shame that that's uh, what box they used. And I have to ask myself, what kind of person has a box that's 25 years old uh, just laying around when they're getting rid of something? Uh, I'm just most curious. I hope they packed it well. Uh, so, yeah. First hint of what's in the box. That ought to give you the hint. I don't know why they put it in sh like saran wrap. Do they not have press and seal? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, both me and my wife love Tiffany colored things. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> give you an idea of what's in the box here. Uh, so there's the manual. Oh, I didn't realize it had somebody's phone number on it. Sorry, whoever I just doxed. Uh, well, that's an interesting way of packing those. Um, oh, I didn't see that crack in this picture. The hose cuff has a crack. Now, of course, this hose has been replaced, but it's still, you know, an airway. Let me grab my recycling container. All this old newspaper is just gonna have to go in here. This is strange that they have newspaper. Um, you'll have to forgive me if I don't sound the most joyous. I had my COVID shot, my second one yesterday, and I'm not feeling particularly hot. Uh, oh. I've also, it's allergy season. I just have had bad allergies. Man, it's interesting, I have Hoover cleaning tools. And then the machine itself, which again, I'm not sure why they shoved in this box with saran wrap. Again, I'm questions, questions, and no answers. Uh, looks like that's it. Uh, gosh, let's take a look at it. Cause this was poking through the box. This should have like a, a thing on it. Again, I'm not sure what the saran wrap was about. That's a, interesting way of packing things. Ah, oh, airway sanitizer. Did I get somebody's old dirt? I sure did. Uh, if you're not familiar, airway sanitizers who held the patent for vacuum bags forever. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's mostly empty. Uh, but these bags are actually very, very thick on somebody's... Oh, fuck me. That's a shame. All right, so I've inherited some corrosion. Anyways, this is going to need some restore restoration. The more I look at this, the more I think I could probably do the same thing I did with those Hoovers and glue a HEPA bag onto it. Uh, man, it is far more beat up than it looked like on eBay. Uh, damn, it was a deal though. It was a deal. It was not particularly expensive. Uh, it's like $40 or something like that. But it fucking, it's beautiful. Again, whoever this Kirby service person was, fuck them for fucking the sand, the paint up on this. I'll have to take that off. So yeah, that's my airway sanitizer. I just unboxed my mid-century. Came in an Apple box of all things. All right, I got it up on the bench. Uh, yeah. Definitely got some nicks and dings that need to be taken care of. Um, I'm glad the airway logo is intact up there. But particularly, these are like paint marks. Some of them are rust marks, like that's a rust mark, but some of these are like paint marks. So we're gonna try and clean that up. The first thing I noticed was the Kirby logo was peeling off. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to take that off. This one was in Maplewood, Minnesota. Uh, and the best way to take anything like this off just hit it, hit it with some heat. Um, and most of it came off. 
and there seems to be some other label because this was like this label does not match up with this label and we can see the original uh, white color underneath it so now that that's happened now we got to do what I don't like to do so first thing I'm going to do is we're going to protect it uh, the previous logo I'll show you how we're going to do this um, and the reason I'm doing that is because the next process is kind of sloppy and I don't want anything to happen. We're going to take a little bit of this. So we're going to move the manual. I don't want any overspray on that. Uh, I guess I should turn it on, but I'm, I want to do this. And I don't know how much you can see, but the sticker has now melted off for the most part. And I'm not using me a metal tool, I'm using a micarta tool, and this is just something I, I made out of a scrap of micarta I had laying around my shop. Um, a little bit of that, and we'll see how it is. And like I said, it's interesting to see the original white under there. So now that that's off, again, this was just to protect the original logo. We're going to see what's here, start removing some of these marks because it doesn't look like it's ever been wiped down recently it's odd the static electricity from the uh way they pack this has a lot more to do with the condition of this and you can see some of these things are just going to wipe off some of them are going to be deeper and it's just going to depend on what it is um you want to avoid steel wool or steel wool or anything like that on this and as I'm wiping this down, I'm also noticing, um, you know, some of this is starting to come off and some of the white, true white of the machine is coming through. Now there is some rust here, which we'll take care of, but some of these are scuffs. Some of these, like I said, are rust and nicks and dings. And that's just kind of the way a machine of this age that somebody was, uh, from the looks of it, just clearly using in their house. Uh, and, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with using this, but uh, when machines get to be 20 or 30 years old, sometimes it's not reasonable to, to keep them in service, even though this had a lifetime warranty and this was supposed to last you your whole lifetime or whatever, but... All right, so I have basically taken two rags and just completely removed all sorts of crap from the outside of this machine. And it... It looks all right. It's not the best though. It definitely has more nicks and dings than I thought it was going to have. Let's plug it in uh, and see how she runs. It sounds pretty good. There's a reason these things had a lifetime warranty back in the day. Uh, though no, nobody could ever really collect on them. Uh, you know, airway sanitizers would come in for three things. A switch when it got worn out, a motor when it got worn out, and a hose. That's all I ever replaced on these. And it's been a long time since I've done a motor. And if you didn't know, airway sanitizer was who held a patent on the bag. And for some reason, somebody's been dumping these bags out, and we have some corrosion in here. That's not so good in the... Man, that lid is pretty nasty. Uh, hmm... Let's, let's show you what the pre-motor filter looks like. Here it is. That's the airway sanitizer pad cover. Let's pull the pad out. Yeah. Don't know what that's made of, but I think that's been seen better days. And you can see there's this chamber that goes all the way around it, and that's something I've always kind of appreciated, is the attention to quality and detail. And these are all really advanced ideas for the time of this machine. So... You can see in there. Yeah, it's just not. Let's zoom in. It just ain't great in there. Um, but that's what it is. Uh, again, I got this for $37, so I'm not complaining. I do want to clean this corrosion off this aluminum. So it is going to come apart, unfortunately. I was hoping not to. I don't like, as I've said, I don't like taking vintage machines apart if I can avoid it. Um, Whenever possible, the motor bearings sound great. Let's look at these accessories because I was curious about them. Again, they were all packed in Sharan wrap, which is kind of bizarre. And the wands are packed in Sharan wrap too. <laughs> um, so yeah, kind of bizarre, but let's see what's here. And this hooks on the side of the machine. 
this accessory. I'll show you guys that later. Maybe even in a different video. Uh, let's see what the accessories look like here. They've just been sitting here. Oh, we got the felt tool intact. So first off, let's look at the dusting brush. Oh, it does not want to come out. Yeah, the dusting brush is dry rotted in place. That's sad. Uh, I hate when this old rubber stuff gets dry out. The crevice tool's intact, no cracks, that's cool. The carpet tool, which is straight suction, and you notice it's got this lock on it. The brushes are warm, but the wheels are good. Oh, we're missing a screw. Uh, well, that will have to be addressed. I'm sure a trip to Ace Hardware will figure that. The red is still on the airway, so that's, that's kind of neat. This is a hard floor tool of some sort. So. Uh, wood. This was again common time to use this sort of stuff on accessories. Then what you would put on the hardwood floor if your floors were delicate, you'd snap this in place right there as well. Or maybe this would snap. This snaps on this metal one. I am mistaken. Um, yeah, it snaps on like that. Uh, so those are kind of interesting. Then the upholstery tool. Kind of early use of plastic here. Looks like somebody accidentally got some paint spray on it. And then this is Airway attachment caddy. Oh, I'll show you how this goes on there on the side. Um, but I really don't want to scratch the machine up with that. Okay, they show it on the wall. I think that is the best place for it. Oh, so versatile. Look at her face. Look at this lady's face. This is great. Um, she's got heels on. I mean, you just don't have ladies like this anymore, unfortunately. Uh, so they don't really show where it goes so far. Uh, other than the hose, you know, which would have been originally turquoise. Warranty, factory warranty. Of course, it was in Ohio. Um, yeah, there's no real show of where the attachment caddy goes other than maybe on the wall. So, that. So, I think I'm going to end up pulling this apart now. Man, these gaskets. The gaskets are good. They're rough, but they're good. Uh, yeah, all this is just looks all right. These machines typically are very well built. This is one of those vacuum brands that is just very, very good. I don't think Airway ever made a bad machine. You know, they're not around anymore. That's why I never put rated them when I did that tier list, but they would definitely be like an S tier list machine, maybe. Uh, even though their design is kind of old. Let's see if I can pull this off now. Um, I might, I don't think I have to pull that off. I think, yeah, it is kind of loose. It's just not, it's on there. So the thing to do with this, again, yep. Just trying to be gentle with her. Yeah, all that just comes off. So I'll be able to, I will hand wash this. Probably I'll hand wash everything. Oh, let's put this up here for a second. <laughs> really magnificent construction. Uh, overbuilt, I have no idea why they overbuilt it like this. This doesn't make any sense even for the time period. They just like continued overbuilding them for essentially no reason. Uh, I mean, I, it's good quality, but like I said, it just doesn't... Uh... Okay, I believe now I need to find me an American size thingy-mabopper to go on these. Just kind of want to... I wasn't planning on washing this, so that's why I kind of wiped, wiped it down first, but now I think we should wash it. Let's see here. All right, so then the wheels will come off, like so, and I should... Again, we're going to give it a little bit of a nudge. Right there. Want to make sure we don't lose those. All this is going to be funky American SAE screws and stuff. All right. And I bet I bet this doesn't have the original motor. Something just tells me it's been probably Bojack. Let's we're going to see right now. Oh, it does. Oh, wrong. It's got, well, maybe not. Let's take a look here. Look at how that's built. That is quite the thing. 
Uh, Amtec Inc. It's an old Amtec motor. There's an arrow in here. Somebody's been in here at some point. Um, let's take these screws off. Yeah, that would have... That could have fallen loose and shocked me. Uh, that would have been lovely. Yeah, these all these old wire nuts are garbage. Just garbage. This might be a two-parter, folks. We might have to do a, just a breakdown first. So there is like the Filter Queen Sanitaire style switch. You see the rust in there. That's too bad. Um, and there's a hecko on the end there. We can pull the hecko off probably, and we'll probably pull the switch off. So I kind of, I kind of want to clean it out. It's, it's pretty dusty. So the, the trick with pulling hecko's off when you don't have a hecko tool is vice grips. And again, it's already kind of scratched and rusted. I'm not too concerned. I'm actually really tempted to just repaint some of this. Uh, that would do it justice. Somebody has scratched this up before me, so no harm, no foul if I put an extra scratch in there. But the original cord is just so cool. Let's unplug the cord here for a second. You can see the opening, the barnyard doors. And this is all riveted together as one piece. There's no separating this. And what's interesting about the switch is how it's held in place. Let's, let's change our heads here for a second. This will just come off. Yeah. <laughs> all this stuff is so mechanical, it's cool. Um, so there's our switch. And it's just, this is just screwed in there. Pedal. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wash all this. Here's the motor. It's a two stage, it's rusted. I really don't wanna pull this apart. I don't think this will do well if I pull it apart. But the bearing cap, it's just this top right here. So I pulled it off and lubricated the top bearing. I will get to the bottom bearing. I have a way of doing that. But I just thought I'd show you what the rest of this looked like. And there was this Bakelite washer in there as well. And we'll be washing the gaskets now. I managed to pull them off intact. I'll wash this uh, bearing holder as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Tune in for part two where we'll put it back together uh, and do that. And then I guess there'll be a part three where I should actually demo and show you using the machine.